is more severe weather on the way it is possibly likely here to see some more severe weather developing across portions of tornado alley later this week into early next week and although it's fairly far out looks like models are still hinting to some very favorable conditions for some type of severe weather but without further ado let's get in the video all right, so we're going to be looking at the European model here. Uh, we're going to be going as early as this Friday. So I know that's not really that close from now. And again, I know this is stretching it because it only it's really almost basically Tuesday at this point. So either way, it's still pretty far out. However, models have been very consistent, specifically like the GFS. But we're going to be looking at the European here since it does tend to be a lot more, I guess, um, detailed and specifically as well accurate with severe weather. So... Uh, as we now go into the basically Thursday night to Thursday morning, we'll be seeing some storms there across Nebraska, Kansas, and even some storms there in Iowa. And then I got later on here into the afternoon hours, we can possibly see some few storms there across Kansas. But that really won't be the main event. As we now go later into Friday evening, though, to around 8 o'clock, we see a second wave of storms here. One across Nebraska and then one out there across portion of northern Kansas. And that's going to possibly be the first big severe weather day of from i guess ever, ever, anything after tomorrow really is going to be kind of dead until to the point till we get to friday as we go to around 11 o'clock eastern uh, p.m some pretty intense storms there across now southeastern nebraska and north central kansas the thing is a lot of these storms in the tornado alley this year have kind of maintained south of nebraska a lot of storms have kind of remained outside nebraska uh, but this one may be our uh, i guess our first severe weather where Anything that's happened in Kansas actually as well happens in Nebraska here. So this could very well be likely as we get further into May here, possibly again in the overnight hours and from Friday to Saturday morning, some potentially severe storms there. As we go overnight into now Friday, uh, Saturday morning here, some pretty intense storms there near Kansas City there, St. Joseph, as well as some pretty intense storms maybe moving as far east as portions of Iowa and of course portions there in Nebraska. So it looks like we can start to move a little bit more to the northeast here as we get further into the warmer weather as we now get into Saturday morning here late morning early afternoon possibly some more severe storms making their way towards the southern Midwest including Iowa a portion of Missouri and then that'll kind of die off once we get later on here but not the Saturday evening some more severe weather possibly across portions of Tornado Alley and the central United States here uh, so it's going to be a multi-day threat from Friday, Saturday, even possibly Sunday. Now, Sunday morning, possibly some severe storms there across portions of the uh, southern plains and maybe some slight severe weather there across portions of the Tennessee and Ohio Valley. And then, of course, by Sunday, some more storms again across portions of the Ohio and, uh, Ohio and Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma region and Texas. I could not get that out of my mouth here. Although, again... This is kind of still pushing it pretty far out uh, from basically Friday or Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening to Friday uh, to Friday afternoon to now Saturday morning to Saturday afternoon as well as Sunday. So we're talking basically late this week is when we're talking for that safer weather. Obviously, this can very well change, but overall, months have been pretty consistent on this, which is why I decided to upload on it because other than that, there's not much really to talk about today. We've already had a lot of safer weather happen in South Central, but so by the time I have this video out, a lot of it will kind of have already happened, which is why I decided not to post on that today. But as we now get into the Cape values here, we're going to be looking at 5 o'clock here on the Friday the 14th. Uh, fr not Friday the 13th, but Friday the 14th. You can kind of see we're going uh, to be expecting anywhere from 1,000 to possibly 2,000 plus joules per kilogram there across Kansas and as well even portions there of Oklahoma. As we now get later on, though, into now Friday, uh, almost midnight, which is to come when we, the, we see the storms there across Nebraska and Kansas, we're going to be seeing really, really low values, K values wise, possibly less than 1,000 joules per kilogram. So it really won't be that crazy in an event there. But by Saturday, it's going to be a lot more favorable for some pretty intense storms here across the tornado, uh, tornado alley, getting possibly 1,000 to 2,000, maybe even near 3,000. Do this particular gram there across sports in Texas and have to get later on now to Sunday as do all some very good conditions. So as we get later into the week, the more favorable conditions we'll get for severe weather. Going to get possibly uh, some wide for 3,000 plus joules per kilogram there across 20, uh, across Texas and Oklahoma. And as we get 3,100 joules per kilogram there across Texas. So overall, we have some pretty good conditions as we go later into the early week here Tuesday as well. Getting some pretty good conditions for some severe weather. But as you see, we're going to be seeing some very, very uh, high K values from basically now to uh, now to possibly, we're not now, but anywhere from as early as Thursday 
Uh, it's a Friday. We're going to get some decent K values across the tornado alley to, as far as early next week here. So overall, we're going to be seeing a pretty big time frame of some potential uh, some potential severe weather, at least across portion of Kansas, Nebraska, and Oklahoma here. But obviously the main area I'd say is possibly Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas for the weekend time frame here. So it's still obviously around six to five to six days out. But again, it is uh, – it, models have been pretty consistent, which is like I just say, decided to post on it. Let's go ahead and look at the atmosphere conditions. Let's see why I'm talking about it. this uh, laid out and exactly why uh, the conditions are looking favorable this far out already for some severe weather. But uh, by Thursday, 5 o'clock, you can kind of see really warm temperatures across the central United States. They're getting some mid 70s, possibly as well as some upper 70s, depending where you are in the south central and, so, and the plains in general. As we now get later on now into Friday evening here, that's kind of when we start seeing that separate weather uh, developing across portions of the central plains. You can kind of see there's not going to be a problem with temperatures. It's going to be very warm into the 70s to 80s. Uh, we're going to be seeing some lower 80s there across Kansas as well. Some mid to lower 70s there across Nebraska. But like I did say, we're going to be seeing some really low K values there. So don't expect anything crazy on uh, this Friday or anything like that. But as we now go later into Saturday, and we're well, maybe watching out for some severe weather developing here into the evening hours across portions of the South Central. Can get some widespread 70s and even some uh, 80s popping up there. So as well, overall, some pretty good conditions. Even in the overnight hours into 2 a.m., 3 a.m., still seeing some 60s as well as some higher 60s. So overall, it's going to be favorable for severe weather even in the overnight hours with these very warm temperatures. And by Sunday... As well, getting some really warm temperatures, some widespread upper 70s, and as well some spotty lower lower 80s. And it's just going to get warmer and warmer as we go into early next week here. So next week as well, possibly watching out for some severe weather. Let's actually wait and look. look we'll look at the, the the wind shear later on in the video. Let's now look at the dew points here for this. So let's actually look. Uh, let me actually scroll all the way to where I, where I want to go here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go from Friday, you can kind of see in the early afternoon hours, we're going to be seeing some really low dew points, which will be another reason for, for why we're not going to be seeing some significant severe weather or many severe weather at all, really on Friday at all. By 11 o'clock is when we get our highest dew points, and it's going to be like 60 to 61 degree dew points, so really, really low uh, on the lowest side, on the lower side. But once we now get to Saturday uh, afternoon, that's going to be a completely different story, getting some widespread 60s as well to the upper 60s across portions of the South Central. But of course, at that point, we'll be kind of watching out for Kansas and Oklahoma. And then by Sunday, it's going to definitely be a pretty concerning day if it stays the way it is, because we will be getting dew points as high as 68 or maybe even as high as 69. So overall, getting some pretty good dew points in these areas. We do, we're do we expecting possibly a cold front to the west, so that's going to possibly bring in a pretty unstable atmosphere uh, with that warm uh, with that warm air kind of the surface lifting up in the updraft and that colder condensed air of the upper atmosphere allowing for a severe thunderstorm to develop. So it's going to definitely be concerning there for portions of Tornado Alley as we go again later on into early next week and get some widespread upper 60s as well, maybe getting some widespread 70s and dew point wise. And I keep forgetting, I don't know the wind shear just yet. And before we go to look at the wind shear, we look at the K index here to get an overall look at the probability of severe weather here for uh, late this week here. So let's go ahead and look at now Monday, or sorry, not Monday, we, we, we don't want to look at Monday, this is today. Let's now go ahead and look here on Friday. Friday afternoon, you can kind of see you're going to get some decent numbers, some maybe lower to mid 30s here, but we're get, getting our highest values. Once we get into the evening hours, so you're going to get as high as possibly 41, possibly even 42. So, again, we will see some severe weather uh, this, this Friday, Kansas and Nebraska, but I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt if it's just a marginal or a slight at max. I don't see an enhanced risk for that. Of course, that's it. severe weather could very well continue into Iowa and portion of Missouri. They're going to get some lower 30s, so we can get some severe storms. But other than that, it's going to maybe be just a thunder, so nothing too crazy. I don't see hail, wind. Again, the conditions are just very, very unfavorable. Although we're seeing some decent temperatures into the 60s and 70s, the Cape Act is going to be very low. Uh, we're not going to be seeing uh, really necessarily any good dew points at all, really seeing the 50s. So overall, it's not looking too good just yet. Just I guess we have to wait maybe an additional week for May to come. Now by Saturday at 8 o'clock, some really widespread good numbers here. Some widespread 40s, possibly as high as 42 there 
across Kansas. That continued to remain pretty high as early as Sunday morning. Some widespread upper 30s and lower 40s, as high as possibly a 43 there for areas near Texas and Oklahoma. As we now get later now into Sunday uh, afternoon and evening here, as well as some pretty good numbers watching out for portions of Tornado Alley, Oklahoma, Kansas, as well portions of North Central Texas. They keep a close eye on that. And as we continue, continue to early next week, look at these really high numbers there across the South Central. Very, very, uh, something to keep a very, very close eye on. Let's now go ahead and look at the wind shear, and then we'll look at the uh, pivotal weather, uh, see if there's any cap there, and then we'll wrap up the video. So as you do see by 5 o'clock on Friday, evening slash late afternoon we will be seeing some type of shear here on 925 millibars which is basically the service but for the specific area we'll be watching out there really won't be anything more than 20 knots of shear so very very minimal shear really really won't get too much shear until we get to saturday morning and get possibly as high as 41 knots possibly nearly 40 knots so it's going to kind of see still stay on the lower side but once we now get into the uh let's go into the afternoon hours here on saturday we're going to be seeing some type of severe weather there developing across the South Central. We're still not going to be seeing that much uh, that much here whatsoever, maybe 30 to 40 knots here. But other than that, still on the lower side again, still around uh, five days out. Uh, so it could definitely change here, of course. But we have to get a lot closer. But even by Sunday, maybe some decent numbers, actually some better numbers getting nearly uh, 45 knots this year there across the South Central and as well. As we go into early next week, still some potential more uh, pretty good shear values of over maybe 50 to 60 knots. I'm oh, sorry, nearly 50 knots there across portions of Texas. So overall, uh, basically a summary of this video, what I've been saying is that we can see some slight severe weather developing as early as Friday, this Friday. And then the weather will gradually become more severe. I'm not talking moderate maybe not even enhanced risk i keep a close eye on maybe saturday and sunday but definitely although it's still too far to say for sure definitely early next week as well is looking pretty uh, uh let's just say next week's looking a lot more favorable than this week however saturday and sunday definitely have to keep a close eye on uh for portion of the tornado alley because overall malls have been pretty consistent on that uh for those days uh, or those those, da those dates for severe weather but Last but not least, let's go ahead and look at pivotal weather to get a look at some soundings, although it's still pretty far out. Let's just go ahead and get a look at soundings here, what we're looking at cat-wise, and whether that can limit severe weather in certain areas or whether it can allow for severe weather to develop in other areas. But let's go ahead and look at that. So let's go ahead and get a look here at uh, the pivotal weather cat values for Friday uh, evening hours. So actually, um, this is the first time I'm actually looking at this, so I'm going to be getting, getting the same... Uh, we're going to be looking at this at the same time as I'm, as you guys are finding out this. So let's go ahead and look at 21Z. So as you do see, we do have a marginal severe, severe weather. So I get to say, there is going to be severe weather in this area. It's going to be at its minimal, though. Marginal slight max here. We do only have around 1,600 cape. Cap is actually very low at this point here. Uh, we do have some really low shear values uh, up into the point to six kilometers. It, that's when we get to 42 knots. But other than that, I don't see anything too crazy. Let's go ahead and look at portions there of northern Oklahoma. Because, again, this severe weather can possibly go as far down as, to, as Oklahoma. And there we'll be seeing some more favorable conditions for severe weather still. Again, nothing too crazy. I don't, even, I don't even see large hail with this, really, unless things rapidly change atmospheric conditions-wise. But only as high as poppy 2,100 was per kilogram. Look at the supercell composite, 2.3. Uh, I mean, look at storm relativity. It's a 41, 41 storm relative helicity. I mean, are you kidding me? It's, as well, shear is really on the lower side as well. Let's go look at look at central Kansas, uh, Mars relative weather. Storm relativity is at 25. I mean, this is this is just awful, awful for severe weather development. Let's go ahead and now look at zero Z here. And then we start to get a little bit better. Uh, numbers 105 storm to velocity 1200 cape but cap will be on the rise here because once we get in the overnight hours a lot of it will start to cap out actually i just screwed that up let me go back here to zero z possibly now on the back side of that huge cap we can see a little bit better conditions near 2000 joules per kilogram negative 34 uh cap but look at that 73 storm relative helicity so there is going to be i'd say very low low chance for tornadoes two percent max really uh that's that's obviously not a lot to say there but let's not go ahead and look here 
uh, at Saturday. Let's go ahead and look at Saturday here into the afternoon hours. Again, watching for some more favorable conditions here. Saturday is going to be a lot, a lot, looking at a lot better there. Looking at 2,200 dollars per kilogram. Uh, storm to velocity still on the lower side at 120. Shear though, the shear is going to be a limiting factor because there's way too little shear uh, for any big time se severe weather. However, it's still a little bit better. There are a lot higher cape there, 2,100, uh, getting storm to velocity at the 133. Uh, we don't get over 40 knots until 8 kilometers, so that's def definitely nothing too favorable whatsoever. Even southern Kansas, maybe some more severe weather, 2,100 cape there. Uh, but storm table is going to be a lot lower once you get to the north there. But let's not go even as far as northern Texas. Uh, again, by then, we really won't be getting any severe weather. It's going to kind of be more limited towards southern Kansas and portions of Oklahoma there. 2200 Cape, SR actually looks at 41. So we're going to be seeing some severe weather, but they really won't be that crazy whatsoever. But let's not go look at Sunday and to the afternoon hours for Sunday here. Let's go towards Oklahoma again. That's going to be, oops, this is a little bit too early here. This is, this is, oh, let me go back to, oh my god, I hate pivotal weather and how it's, like, if you move over, it goes there. That's the one thing I don't like about pivotal weather, but let's now go towards the 0Z here on Sunday. Let's see if there's any severe weather here. Uh, we're going to be seeing on Mars, no severe, severe weather threat, but SRH is at 55, just very, very low, of course. Let's go kind of towards western Oklahoma, and that's going to be seeing uh, 1,200 Cape. Uh, SRH at 58, so it's going to be very, very minimal. However, there is still going to be a chance for some severe weather across this area here. Let's now go a little bit later now into now Monday early, early morning here. Uh, and again, at this point, it's going to start really going to get a lot of cap here. So there's going to be some small chances for some severe weather, obviously. Uh, obviously, conditions may get better, they may get worse, but overall, we're going to be seeing some more severe weather on the rise there for a tornado alley. However, we're not looking at an outbreak or anything like that. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys later.